Status. A Christian family like ours would allow yourself to be put in the family way by a man who has not paid any dowry on your head. Becky! Bible urges us in 1 Corinthians 6, verse 18 to flee, to flee from every sexual immorality to flee from fornication. And you, you did not. You could not. You rushed headlong and embraced it with your eyes wide open and of course your legs wide apart. And now this, Becky, oh my God. You have, you have robbed this family's name in the mud. He's going to bury me. That, that's why I can't take it from you, my What is it? What did I say to you? What? I will kill this girl. Let me beat this girl. Let me, let me pummel this girl. Let me reduce this girl to nothing. Now listen. Keep quiet. Keep it sealed. Don't open it. Look at you. Look at you. You have the boldness to talk. To talk. After defiling yourself. After defaming yourself. I'm bringing, bringing, bringing this family. The family name to ridicule. I know you have no shame. And listen. That's your so called boy friend. Steps his feet on this on this soil, this family. Oh, I bet God is going to receive one or two persons up there in heaven. Now I know where I stand with God. Do you know? Do you? I ask you. You don't. He doesn't. Ah, oh, nonsense. I say nonsense. Now what do I do with this? Tell me! Tell me what I do with this! Tell me! Explain it! Where do I put my head? Do I put my head down? In, 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 in there! Oh where? Oh my god! Oh! 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 Mimi, please talk to daddy. Biko, please talk to him. Let him allow Oge to come and do the needful. The deed has been done. Please, or do you want her to go for an abortion? God forbid. Please talk to him, please. Have you girls already know the kind of father you have? Eh? He would never ever subscribe to this. I will talk to him when he comes down. And Becky, you didn't try at all. I mean, how could you do this? 
You have ruined the family name. You've, you've dragged the name into the mud. Honey, calm down. Save your strength, woman. I know what you and your children are up to, but I. William Chukune Nye Akachuku will not be brought to ridicule by anybody, least of all my children. So don't even bother speaking on anyone's behalf. Except, of course, you're part of this shame game. How can you say this? How can you even think that I would be part of this disgraceful act? Have you ever bothered to call your child your daughter? I bore her and ask her who put her in the family way. Have you? Well, I will not give in to her evil plan to marry a man that has no locus, a man that has no bearing, a man that does not even know where he comes from. No, I won't do that. Since she has been so stupid as to allow a man put her in the family way, she will remain in this house. Carry that pregnancy from beginning to the end in this house. She will put to bed, give birth to the child in this house, nurture the baby like every mother including bearing the shame and pain of motherhood out of wedlock. Listen to me. You can't throw away the baby with a dirty bath of water. What we should be thinking of right now is how to avert this disgraceful act from the family. Vero, I am done with this. I want to go upstairs and read my Bible. Your mood suddenly changed. What's that? Or oh, are you not happy that I, I asked to see your dad? Oh, sweetie, I I really don't know how to say this. But I don't think my father would approve of this marriage. Oh, not on issues like this, no. Come on, you know I don't like to be discouraged. You know what, let's just go and see him, all right? Come on, let's go. Let's go meet him. You'll be shocked. Let's go. Daddy. Hey. Good afternoon, Dad. Good evening, sir. Yes, good evening, young man. Daddy is my friend. His name is Jacob. He said um, that he would like to meet you first before he comes with his people. Hmm. I see. Well, young man, please uh, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. For me? Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you very much, sir. Elsie. Um. Ah. Yes. Elsie. Yes, sir. Entertain your friend. Uh, seven some drinks. Yes. I was actually watching the news, but uh, let me go upstairs and flip through my Bible. Hmm? Yes, son. Thank you. <clears throat> Come on. It's a pleasure, Mr. Sir. Jacob. Thanks indeed. Thanks again for this. It's nothing. Uh, Dad, do you want me to help you with that? Uh, Elsie, with this? No, please. God bless you. <laughs> I'm going upstairs with this. Okay. Uh, what? Wow. Wow, I cannot even believe this. It that is so nice. Wow. Okay then, what do you want? Let me offer you something. Uh, Dad no, said no, I no, should no, no, offer no, no, no. you something. I am okay. No, what do you want? What? Uh, no, you have to say something. Water, wine. <sighs> So this is the man you've been describing as the devil. <sighs> On the contrary, man, that guy is good. I mean, he's cool, he's friendly, I just like him. Seriously, I am surprised. I don't know, like, I can't believe that was my father in there. Wow, maybe he likes you. Or maybe it's my prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I prayed last, so. Amen. Beth, I have to go now, all right? Thank you for coming. All right. Elsie, yes, how long have you known this man? For two years now, Dad. Ah. So, you've been dating him for two long years. No, Dad. We're just friends. Nothing more. Hmm. Graduate? Yes, Dad. He's a graduate. He's actually a master's degree holder in petroleum engineering. He works with an oil firm. Good. Good. Um, what tribe is he from? It's okay, it's okay. This is not fair now, this is not fair. But you know your father, you know him. He would never allow any of you to marry outside our tribe. <laughs> this is what you keep doing to me. I will not stay here and grow old. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's okay. 
Van a hagan puta. Yes. Um. Emeka, right? Uh, Emi, Emi, Mbuka. You're right. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Thank you, sir. So, Emeka, where are you from? And uh, what do you do? Oh, <laughs> some Floma Mambala. And they we to be precise. I did run a spare pass. Uh, I'm a two spare pass from China. It's all I'm booking. Joe McKay me spare pass. I told you I can shop him. Even though McKay, then you service I can't go and shop him. Joe Lane me booking a better better. I told you I can shop him. Beg your pardon. Motor spare parts. In Kenya, better better. And this we are from dialect from China. Hey, me a day we go down me me I can shop him. But we may be done. Excuse me. I'm going to to Hey, I must marry this girl. My daughter is a master's degree holder from a reputable university and cannot marry an illiterate. From Dumota. There are illiterate girls all over the place, including the village. Go take your pick from among them. Before you return to my house, you go to school. Else, This now you how do you want me to take it? Eh? Like somebody who won the American lottery. Is that how you want me to take it? Eh? I've never been humiliated in my life like this. The way your father humiliated me is not good. It's not good because I want to marry you. That is why your father humiliated me again. Mama Mobi. Hi. Please just take it easy. Do you know if you keep raising your voice now, he will hear you. I don't want him to hear you. Let him hear me. Eris, let me ask you. Eh? Must every man have degree before the Mali? No, answer me that question. Must every man have degree before the Mali? Eh? So I must have degree before I marry you. That is why your father humiliated me. Odulok Wamma. Odulok Wamma. Manam me with degree. And I'll come back and marry you. Yeah. I'll come back and marry you. 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 I'm coming to your house. Hello, okay? Where are you? Okay, I'm back outside. Hey, because tap, 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 tap. Hey, okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said it for something on the phone when you called me. Hope all is well. All is not well, man. There's something I want us to discuss now. Very, very important. What? Okay. Yeah. I want to go back to school. I want to become a graduate. <laughs> At this time of your age? Yes. <laughs> Why? What for? Okay, this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> eh? This is not a laughing matter at all. 
Yeah? Okay. So, what is it? I've gotten the latest insult of my life. Me, Emeka. I've trained a lot of graduates in this life. Yes. Yeah? And they're respecting me. And they're respecting me. I went to Ellis Papa's house. I got insult. Why? What's okay, what? what is the problem? Eh? See, no matter what, eh, I must marry Ellis. I must become a graduate. But, but I thought you already concluded with Ellis. Yes! That is why she took me to her father. And this problem came up. Eh? Okay, please. Anything we will do, let us do. Let us start the process of me going back to school. How can you say a thing like that? Hi. <laughs> Any which way, I'm happy this has finally made you realize the importance of education. <laughs> Don't worry, no problem. Hmm? I'll take care of it. Eh. Yeah, I can handle it. Don't worry about it. Very sure? Yeah, very okay, sure. Okay, okay. Very sure. Biko, tell him this thing. He might have the problem. They cannot run with my money. So good, people should, people should, 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 should stop getting me angry. Yo. Don't get me angry. Please. Emeka, I'm disturbed. Listen, we have to talk. This is the point where people in relationships make mistakes. Yes, we've been dating for years now and you promised to marry me. True, you have tried to fulfill your promise. But my father is not giving in to it. He doesn't want this marriage. I've tried my best. I've tried my best to convince him about us. I've even talked to people that he respects to talk to him, even my aunties and uncles. But he still stood his ground. From the look of things, I do not think that my father will ever give in to this relationship. Either today or tomorrow. At this point, I'm confused. What do we do? Listen attentively, please. I don't want to care to know what your father is talking about or what he wants to say. Or what anybody wants to say. Eh? What is my problem now is what you're saying and your what you want to say. Here did you know that is what I want to know. Eh? Baby, see, I am ready to get married to you. Yes, I want to marry you. That is my own problem. I want to marry you. No condition, no situation. Nothing will make me not to marry you. No circumstances will make me not to marry you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm going to tell you. I want to tell you that I am ready, I am ready, ready, very, very ready to go back to school. And I've already bought my my uh, diploma form. Meaning? Uh, wait, are you saying that I should wait? until you go to school and graduate. Baby, are you surprised? Why are you not playing your face? Yes, now. Until you graduate? Yes. <sighs> okay, see what I've made. What does it look like? You don't know! <laughs> okay, let me walk on that. Take this. You mean his mother? Well, she came back for the weekend. Mommy, must you address her like that? Becky is still a young girl. Uh -huh. oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Roland. How are you? Very well, ma'am. Mm, mommy, you remembered Ronald? 
<laughs> okay, Roland has come to see you and dad officially before his people will go. Oh, that's nice. Hope dad is around. Oh, yes, he is. Well, well that's good. Well, why don't you take him in and um, serve him something? Uh, I'll go and call your father. Okay. <laughs> There was the sound of urgency in your voice. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is okay. There's no problem at all. I just wanted to see you. You know, we have not seen each other in a while. Hmm. Hmm? I hope that this time you have something reasonable to tell me. You mean I have not been reasonable all this while? Mm -mm. Or should I say that I want you? to be more reasonable this time. your children. The year is gradually coming to a close and none of them has been able to bring home one man. Not a man. Hmm? Are they waiting for me to get older and die before they get married. I think you should give them a little more time. Time? Did you say time? Vero, how old were you when I married you? Fifteen! So why are we talking about time here? Look at it this way. Elsie is 35 years old. She's 
getting to become an old lady. Sophia, who does not want to get married, has run to America. She's 33 years, and Becky, 30. Give him a romance. They don't want to get married. There is not even any indication that they, get the, that they have plans of getting married. Rather, they are running all over the place, making money, spending money, lavishing money, buying cars, jewelries, spending money on frivolous makeup, eyelashes like this, painting their faces like, like masquerade. Vero, Vero, you are responsible for these children not getting married. What? Honey, why do you always love to shift blames? And I don't like it. Shifting blames, you're telling me. What kind of shifting blames? You sit here, you don't do anything. You can't stand up and do something so that your, your, your daughters will get married. You're, you, you, you're accusing me of shifting blames. What kind of shifting blames? A man is getting old and the daughters are not married. Three of them. Nagano. Oh yeah, come line up all of you. Let me begin to marry you one after the other. Elsie, you promised to call me once you get home. Are you not home yet? Yes, Mom. I'll still call you. I'm not home yet. I um, I, I had to stop over at my, my friend's place. Frank? Yes, Mom. Elsie, your father is at it again. He says I am the one encouraging you girls not to get married and give him grandchildren. You girls had better do something before I lose it. What's going on here? And moreover, you have been dating Frank for over five years. He's not letting you go, and neither is he proposing. You had better let him go. You're not getting any younger. Mom, Frank is not who you think he is. I know he's going to marry me soon. And once he gets back, he will perform all the marriage rites. Trust me, Mom. I do not trust man. I only trust God. <sighs> Mom, just, just take it easy, okay? Be patient. Frank is loving. He's caring. And I love him too. I love him as much as he loves me, Mom. <sighs> Mom, please, Mom, wait. Please, I'll call you back when I get home. Okay, I'll call you back, Mom. Bye, bye, bye. Who was that, Elsie? My mom. Besides, why did you creep in on me like that? And how long were you standing behind me before I noticed you? Not too long enough to catch up with your conversations. And why the questions? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to know what part of the conversation you heard. Are you hiding something from me, Elsie? No. Why would I hide something from you? No. So who was that? My mom. And she sends her regards. Come on. <laughs> um, let me go to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat. 
calm down. Don't worry. We have all day. I'm not running away. sent the three of you to school to be useful to yourselves and society. God has a purpose for everything he created on earth. God has a purpose for giving me the three of you girls, no boy. As a Christian, I have keyed into God's purpose in my life. Question four. You now is, have you keyed into God's purpose in your life? Look at Becky. Has she keyed into the purpose of God in her life? Becky, you are a disgrace to yourself and to this family. Becky, you allowed yourself to be put in the family way to be impregnated by a mere boy. A boy you knew that I would never, ever let you marry. That you went ahead and opened yourself to him. A boy whose future is yet unascertained. A boy who can never point to any, any man or woman as his father or mother. A mere boy, a loafer, a nobody. Becky, Becky, you have, you have rubbed this family name in the mud. As a Christian, there are things I must not allow to happen in my family. So, Becky, you will not marry that boy. You will not have an abortion. Thank you for the food. You're welcome. You're not eating. You hardly touch your food. What is bothering you? Mom's call. All I received from mom is bothering me. 
That's why. No wonder your meal doesn't taste like what you make. Come on. Cheer it up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell daddy what's going on. Tell me this is the reason you invited me over. And what is wrong with me inviting my fiance over to my house when I have the need and the urge to make love to her? Don't be selfish about this. Frank. Wait, wait, wait. So I am now your toilet that you go to anytime you're pressed to ease yourself. I don't be What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? What has suddenly come over to your mind to want to leave my house by this time at night? Please, are you crazy? Yes, I am crazy. Of course I'm crazy. To be in this relationship with you for five whole years, wasting my time. How did I not even think about it? Then why have you not married me yet? I didn't even think about it. Instead, I give in to your incessant demand for sex. That is all I do. Because where in this house have you not banged me? Tell me, where have you not banged me in this house? I always say yes to your demand for sex for five good years without even thinking. Of course I am crazy. Because I give in anytime you want it. Anytime, anywhere, anyhow. I give it to you. So I am crazy. Please. Sit down. Let's talk this over. Please. There's nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. Wait, meanwhile, what do you even want to talk about in this room? Sex. All we talk about in this room is sex. Yes, sex, sex, sex. There is nothing else. Please. Leave me alone. Let me alone. Leave me alone. Be very inhuman and careless of me to allow you to leave this house by this time at night. Or even let you sleep in my couch. Please, let's go to bed. I swear on my honor, never to let you down. Neither leave you or forsake you. The only person Elsie that will make this relationship not work. That will be you. I love you. I will perform the traditional rites and wed you immediately once I return from this trip. But I want you to get pregnant for me before our wedding. What is it? Oh, nothing. See, I, I just need a quick advice from you. Did he propose? <gasps> See, he wants me to carry his baby before he weds me. And you know that's risky. Risky? How? <sighs> Babe, how can you be talking like this now? What if he backs out? Wake up. You should be the one demanding for this. You could have to hold him down. Hold him down. What are you insinuating? Give it to him if that is what he wants. And mark him closely until everything is achieved. Give it a thought, okay? I need to go back to work. Alright? See, what's it not? No dolly. I have a minute to ask you. 
you are your woman. What sort of person did that? I was hoping to have seen some signs by now. Elsie objected the idea of getting pregnant before the wedding. Why? Uh, well, okay. Even if she objects, why not you use the method of cutting your condoms before using them? <laughs> you do that when you have the opportunity. Elsie refuses to come to my home. Talking about sleeping over my place these days. She said, I have to pay the full dowry in order for me to have sex with her. Strange. I have used all the methods. Nothing happens. If that's the reason why I called you, I need your help. Keep your professional right here. Yeah, no, 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 Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Frankie, this can't be coming from you. Because if Frankie, I know you have a thousand and one methods to get her down. Except you just don't want to use them because she's a special one. She is a special one. Mm. But I have used all the methods that will work. And plus, bed. I'll be traveling to other countries soon. And I need to settle this matter first before I travel. Up here. Because I want to talk to you. I need you, Ben. <laughs> Hey, take it now. Let's find out who your secret admirer is. Secret admirer? Yes. Uh, me. Babe, I have not had any kind of discussion that could possibly warrant this recently. It can be mine. I don't know what this is. Then we'll sit our ass here and wait for that person to show up. We've got to think of it. It's obviously yours now. It's on your car. Ah, my show is my own. I don't want to touch what I don't. Don't go and touch bomb. Let her bomb go. Not me. My own little way of saying I am sorry. Frank. <laughs> This my Frank, eh? It's my Frank. He's just very mm -hmm. crazy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think he's going to. Hi. Hello. Okay, I've heard. Well, I already forgave you even before you asked. around here. I am very sure that mm -hmm. he was like, when I looked at you, he said, are you waiting for her to tell you what to do or something? <laughs> Babe, so hop in, hop in. I'm going to prove him wrong today. Okay. I will show him that I'm smart. Hop in. <laughs> so, babe, mm -hmm. plans have changed. All right? Yeah. I have to get to his house before he gets there so that he will know that I am also smart. <laughs> but what happens to me? Babe, just carry this car and go home now. I don't need this car right now. I'll show you know. Take the car and go home. Later, you bring it back to me. It's now. okay. It's okay. What's no now. problem. <laughs> Just go and do your thing. Yes. Oh, I will. <laughs> Make sure you give it to him. Ah, you know that. <laughs> I just what? peeped through. His car is not there, so he's not home yet. Okay. I'm going inside the house to go and wait for him. Okay, okay. 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 So, babe, I'll see you later, okay? okay? What? The ball is now in your court. You better play well, or you'll be well played. No more dolling, babe. <laughs> hmm. I've heard. Yo, I've heard. Come and go. Come and go. Okay.
Love you, Elsie. What are you up to? To renew our relationship and make it stronger. Wow. <laughs> Reminds me of when we just met. <laughs> Make a toast to everlasting love. It's up to you, Frank. Yeah. Mohammed can only go to the mountain. So, you can make it happen if you wish so. Well, I give you my words. When I return from this trip, you will be Mrs. Frank Okechuku. <laughs> <laughs> Jason has grown up to become a lovely, handsome young man. Oh, thanks to you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Thanks to that, too. <laughs> oh, your sister is back. Oh, by the way, we need to register Jason for swimming lessons. Yes, right. It would help him lose weight. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hey. Hey. What's going on here? Guess who is off the market? Ah! Let me see. Yeah! Who did it? Ah! Bad propose. Yeah. I can't believe this. I told you, Mom. I told you. Oh, thank you, Lord. This is what I have always prayed for. I am going to tell your father. I guess he traveled and he will be back in three weeks. Then he can start the marriage plans and I'll be a married woman. I'm so happy for you, big sister. I just pray Frank keeps to his words and not disappear on you the way okay did me. Aww. <laughs> Speaking of okay, where is he? Have you heard from him? <sighs> nope. With last touch, in fact, okay have disappeared from the face of social media. He's not Facebook, he's not Instagram, but I don't care. I'm not bothered at all. His son is here. When he needs us, he will look for us. Right, girl, right. <laughs> and then, what about Sophia? I've not heard from that girl in a while, though. You know how crazy yeah. Sophia is? Mm -hmm. Last time we spoke, she said she's moved to Alanza. Yes, and that she would never come back to Nigeria, except she hooks up with a man or gets a man to get her pregnant. <laughs> hey, Sophia, that girl is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, where are you taking us to? Because this girl is crazy. What is wrong with me? <laughs> 
feeling like this. Is it that I'm pregnant? I feel so... I feel so strange. I feel dizzy. Dad, mom, meet my fiance. His name is Frank Okechuku. How are you, son? I'm fine. How are you, sir? Fine. Frank Okechuku, right? Yes, sir. Mm. My daughter has been singing the song with your name. Um, you're welcome. You are a graduate of engineering. Correct. You work with uh, Sky Resources as the head engineering. Yes, we know so much about you. What she didn't tell us is where you come from. So, where do you come from? I'm from Lagos State, sir. Uh, I mean, I mean your state. Yes, I'm from Lagos State, sir. Frank, my dad does not mean where you reside. He's not asking you about where you live. What he's asking you is, where are you from? Like, your state of origin. Yes, but that's exactly what I just said. I'm from Lagos State. This is okay, Choco. The father of Jason, my son. The very man that never wanted to set his life. What? No, no, no. Frank, it's it, it not true, right? What? Are they talking about? Uh, they're not the, 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 the same people now. My own is Frank. Her own is all okay. Frank, okay. We have a son together, at least for the sake of a son, please, I beg you, don't do this to me, please. Please, Frank, I beg you. So this is you, Elsie. This is you and all your devilish plans, Elsie! to me. God, this is so 
to be stated. This is so unbelievable. Oh my god. How could you do this to us? How? So you had a history with my sister and you never ever mentioned it to me. Never. Oh god. And to think that I, that I have been trusting you all these years. What do I do? Where do I go from here? What do I do now? <laughs> to speak with all of you following the intervention by my wife here Elsie Elsie you disappoint me Elsie I find you so disappointing woman of your status, with your level of education. Tell me. I don't begin to get it. Why you cannot, with all this, your status, education, all that, why you do not even know where a man you've been dating over the years, where he comes from. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It is. Now tell me, do you know where the man you, you've been dating over the years comes from? Answer me, do you? Of course you don't. Okay, for all we care, he might just be uh, an agent of Satan, an agent of, of, of Lucifer himself, or an agent of the devil itself, sent to, to destroy every member of this family. William. But that's true. It could be the, I mean, it could be. How else do they operate? How else? Otherwise, how do you begin to explain Elsie repeating the same mistake of her younger sister here? How else? All right. The one of Becky, we can attribute it to youth, youthful exuberance. What about Elsie's? How do you explain it? I have come to this decision. Borrowing from my wife's uh, words, I am not going to throw the baby away with the bath water. Dad, what do you mean by that? It means you will not marry him. Dad! I refused Becky marrying him. Here, now, I also refuse you marrying him. But Dad, it's not fair. This is not fair. Why would you make decisions that can destroy your children's future? You do not have a future with him. Your sister also does not have any future with him. I have a future with him. Yes, I do. Frank proposed to me and I accepted. He actually came here so he can start performing the marriage rites before this ugly coincidence happened. Besides, I am pregnant for him. Hey, uh, what? Wait, Jerry. Elsie, what did you see? 
you heard me. Frank, you had a baby with Becky. Now you impregnated Elsie, whose hand you came to seek for in marriage. According to your story, you never know that both of them are siblings. That's one. Two. You never had the intention of marrying Becky, child or no child. Yes, sir. Now tell me, in all honesty, now that you know that both of them are blood sisters, what are your intentions? I was expecting you to come in with some of your king's men. Where do you come from? I'm from Lagos State, sir. Does that mean you are a Yoruba man? Not really. How come you answer Kichuku? My mother is Ibro, but my father was Thomas Abiodun from Lagos State. So, you are Yoruba? Yes, mother. Okay, it's cross bread. But I beg you, allow okay to marry. Please, mother. If not for anything, Father, for the sake of your grandson, Jason. Father, my son needs a father. Please, I beg you, Father. Please, allow okay to marry me. Father, allow okay to marry me, please. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dad. Becky. What's going on here? Why is everyone looking so unhappy? Where is mom? Jesse is a small, smart, and intelligent boy. And he deserves all the parental care and love he can get. Yes, he does. He's such a sweetheart. Yeah, I love him. I had an abortion a few days before I came back home. You did what? My doctor advised 
There's only two reasons you can perform an abortion. One is to save life. Second is to save someone's future. I did mine to save my life. And I want you to do the same to save Jesus' future. God forbid. What? I can't even believe I'm lying here and listening to this nonsense. Come on, give me a hug. Yeah. It's okay, sit down, darling. So, yeah. I got you something. Hmm? Wanna know what it is? Tana! <laughs> I knew I was gonna get that smile from you. Okay, so let me open it for you. Yeah. All right, yeah. And what do you say to me? You're welcome. Come here. Mm. All right, so I'll go to my bedroom and I'll be back shortly. What's the matter? I'm fine. You're not fine. What is it? I am fine. beginning to get irritated by it. I can't take it anymore. It's okay. It's suspected. My son! 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 Oh, my God. 
I called to tell you that I lost the pregnancy. What? Due to all the stress I've gone through recently. And then I would want you to do something for me. Can you help me save a life in the future? Please. Don't end up making the same mistake my father made, which he is regretting today and has repented from it. Whose life and future am I supposed to save? My sister Becky and your son Jason. You don't want to have this weight on you moving around knowing that you have a woman you love somewhere and a son. Why don't you just try and make amends, make the sacrifice? I've made the sacrifice. I've given up everything for them. Why don't you do the same? My father is very apologetic about everything. He has repented and I'm sure he'll be willing to give Becky's hand in marriage to you right now. So what about us, Elsie? How can you deal and cope with all this? Frank, there is no us anymore. So what? I've wiped off that time of my life from my memory. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven dad and I've forgiven myself for everything. I just want us to move on. Let everybody move on. Please, can you come back? Can you make things right? That boy, Jason, needs a father and a mother. The boy needs to grow up with all the love and care. He's such a cute and handsome boy. I can tell you that Becky's life has been on hold after you. Like, she hasn't had any other affair. Her whole life is centered around Jason. Just come and make things right. Please. What am I supposed to do now? Just come over. Don't waste any more time. Come and see my father. You both should talk man to man. Ask for Becky's hand in marriage. I'm sure he'll, he'll be glad. He'll be obliged. He has realized his mistakes and he's willing to make amends too. Just face it. Face life instead of... Moving on with life with so much guilt and bitterness. You don't want that. I will think about it. Thank you. Baby, I missed you so much, for real. You still look very beautiful and ravishing. Yeah. You know, but I'm so sorry I have to cut off communication with you. You know, just to get my that my target of going back to school. Wait a minute, Emeka, first of all, what are you doing here? You just called me to meet you up in a strange place. Why? What, what is this? Well, you sounding like... It didn't miss me at all. Seriously? What are you expecting me to do? To jump on you? Emeka, you cut off all ties with me for years. No communication, nothing. Then from the blues, you call me on the phone and ask me to meet you up in a very strange place and you want me to be happy and jump on you? I had to do that because I need to focus and get my degree. Yes. But, but anyway, I'm so sorry. It wasn't my intention to do that. Okay? Um, so now, have you gotten your degree? <laughs> yes. And up. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Baby, I'll be so happy if you will make me the happiest man on earth. Yes. Please. Will you marry me? What? Are you crazy? Just like that? Just like that. I am crazy about you anyway. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. Yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
Forgiveness for the pains that I had directly and indirectly caused to every single one of you here to this event. Please do not judge me. I'm a simple a victim of circumstances. See, when I my desire to marry Becky was rejected simply because of having a Yoruba father without even considering the fact that my mother is of a noble, evil stock. I got devastated. I got thrown out like I'm some sort of animal, no human at all. I got so mad that I lost my mind. But when I met Elsie, I had no idea that Elsie is from this family. of circumstances at various times. You see, I once loved a Yoruba girl. Bosse by name, and I proposed to marry her. That was before I met my wife here. Her father not only threw me out of his house, not only rejected my marriage proposal, he called me Omo Igbo. I remember clearly the way he threw it at me. I have taken out time to uh, review things and give a thought to it. And uh, I've come to realize that Two wrongs will never make a right. Frank, yes, I apologize for all the harsh words, for all the insults I poured on you. Forgive me. Forgive me, son. Forgive me.
Sir, would you please help me to bring a complete reconciliation and healing to all of us here by allowing me to marry your daughter here, Becky, to take her as my wife and to take responsibility of my son, to provide him with a better future. Would you, sir? Yes, why not? <laughs>